just the streetcar class right here. 32 cars. Y'all find a problem? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Clean it, put it back together. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna start this video off with a little bit of preface of what's going on in the video that's coming up. We told you last time we were gonna be taking Gold Digger to the dyno and we did and it was just an epic failure. So we decided not to actually air the video or make the video of that because it was just, I mean, it wasn't that we don't wanna show you the numbers. It didn't perform like we wanted it to or anything like that. It just absolutely did not perform at all. We had issues with the dyno. We had issues with, we had a dead cylinder on the car and we went through two hours of just complete mayhem trying to figure it out. We had fire, we had fuel, we had compression, we had everything you needed. We changed coils, we put new coils, we changed wires, we changed injectors, we took known working injectors and tested injectors and we did everything we possibly could to get this thing working and we could got, get number two to fire. Could not figure it out so we just kind of scrapped the whole session on that. Uh, took it home the next night to Joey's house. We did all the same things we did when we were at the dyno, plus we ran leak down tests and everything, and everything checked out fine. And it turns out it was just a bad connection on the main harness. And we don't know if it was just a bad pin. It's kind of scary because we don't want that happening going down the track. And we really didn't fix an issue other than unplugging something and plugging it back in and making contact. So with that being said, we decided to go ahead and go out to the track take Gold Digger out there for his first time, uh, figure out all the bugs, you know, work through all the, you know, stupid little things you gotta go through. We took Sunshine out there at the same time to start, you know, doing some actual tuning and, and trying to do stuff with it. And we've got our own issues with that, which you'll see in the video. But just wanna kinda want y'all let y'all know what was going on and why you didn't see the video of the dyno. We are gonna be taking the car to the dyno. So stay tuned for the video and I'll catch up with you at the end of this one. I mean, we're only on gates, and when right. and we only left, you know, I just sat there and just tried to build up boost, and only left on two pounds, so that was probably why. Like, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, like I said, that's that's a starting point. Brakes work, steering works, brake works, <laughs> shocks work. work, transmission works. That's a big thing. The transmission works. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm I, I screwed up. I mean, I told you that's on me. I didn't check the tire pressure. I was in such a hurry to get up there to film him, film me, and they were fixing a radio prep, which. That was not radio prep there. We just went ahead and went just to get some, some data in for the first pass. But obviously next time I'll change my tire pressure, but still even that, 
it did pretty darn good, so he may want to leave it alone if they're going to radio prep. I tried to leave it 18 pounds, which is pretty high. So we'll make a few adjustments and get back up there and get after it. Can we lean it out a little bit or? Can I? Uh -huh. Bring jets and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, we got everything here. It's extremely rich. Really yeah, well even like driving back here, just putting down, it was like an 11-1, just driving, which it never does that. I think it's just bad air or it's just fat period. I use this fat period. Okay. Let's look at what's in. Uh, 63, or I'm sorry, 67-73s. Let's go down two on every, every one of them. All four corners? So 65, 70. 65, 70? Because there's 73s in the back right now. Okay, 65, 71. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Two down all the way around. All right, guys. You hear the verdict. It is really fat. That one plug, put a brand new plug in it, brought it back. Super fat, so... Drop the jets down, go out and make a hit. I mean, this is what we're out here for, trying to get this thing finally dialed in, get this thing to run what it's supposed to. All right, guys, second pass. I'm gonna jump the RPM just a little bit. We got the tire pressure the same because I'm crushing the tires. The track's really sticky right now. They're radio prepping now. I mean, even though they're not gonna spray before, so the track's still really tight. We lean it out a little bit, so I'm gonna go down. If I feel anything funky, if it lays over or anything like that, I'll get out of it. Otherwise, I'm gonna try to make a full pass through. I think the converter might be a little loose up top right now, but we'll make this pass and see what happens and just keep building from there. This guy. This guy. This guy. So, <laughs> first night out, and you're just gonna send it. Yeah. I like it. All right, guys, have a couple little issues right now with the 56. It's his first time out. We know they're gonna have problems, have bugs, because he's got a fuel pressure problem right now. We can check and see if the pump's got a high low on it. Uh, we know some of them do in this style. So, just need to check on that and make sure everything's right, voltage is right, and all that. Uh, but Holly's trying to compensate for it. One thing Holly's doing good. So, Gonna gotta try to get this figured out. I mean, these are just the bugs of having a car out for the first time. I mean, you're gonna find everything, and that's fine. This is what we're trying to do. This is what we want to do. We want to get it all out of the way now. Now the weather's starting to get good. We can actually go out and run these things. So we're gonna fill it a little more. Hello. Not good. Get back here and change number seven real quick. Since it is the uh, kaboomer on LSs, this is the telltale sign. We added that three quarters of a degree, so hopefully we're still all right. But we'll get this one out of here and see if we can do anything else. All right, guys, plugs are out. Number one's to the left, number seven is to the right. Obviously, a little bit leaner, a little more burn. Probably gonna leave it alone. Fuel looks good. Take a look at the timing, let Josh look at it and kind of go from there. So, uh, Probably the last run tonight, right? Yeah, because I'm hungry. I am hungry. Hey, this guy over here? Hang on a minute. So this guy here was driving at the gut. If you want to see some squirrely. Yeah. yeah, I mean. I'll, I'll insert the video right in here somewhere. So anyway.
anyway, so this is probably the last pass. Yeah. We didn't change and, anything. I just dropped the RPM back down. But okay. you made improvements tonight. No, no we've improved tonight, most definitely. But it should improve on this pass. If it, if it leaves out of the hole, good, and it sticks, it should run a personal best. Sweet. Okay guys, as you can see, had a few issues out that night. Uh, Gold Digger had a fuel pressure issue and had dome pressure issue. As far as sunshine goes, I wouldn't say we really had issues. We just had suspension problems, which we knew we were going to have anyway because I'm running just a single adjustable set of strange rear shocks right now. And it's not really allowing me any flexibility as far as suspension adjustments. So we can't turn up the RPM. We can't turn up the boost. It's, it's smacking the tires really hard and, and crushing the tire down to the rim almost, even at 18 pounds of pressure. So we've already got a set of custom valving 2JM Fab AFCO shocks on the way. So as soon as those get here, they'll be on the car and we will be right back out the track. As far as Gold Deer goes, we had a bad pin again, <laughs> per holly, on the uh, dome pressure side and we had a bad dome pressure switch, a uh, faulty one. So we've got that replaced. The fuel pressure issue, <clears throat> uh, rack in the fuel tank. We've got that figured out. So that was a real easy fix. I got that taken care of. Now we've got a little bit of a transmission issue. Uh, for some reason, there's either a pressure issue or something in the valve body going on with it. When it goes into third, it's almost like it comes out of gear or, or it has a pressure spike or something happens on it. So we're gonna get that out of there. We're gonna send it off the freak show, have him take a look at it, do his magic to it, get that back in the car. And then we will be taking Gold Digger to the dyno. Uh, we keep promising you that video on the dyno. We are actually going to take it to the dyno, get all the bugs worked out on it before we take it out to the track again. So that will be coming. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, we're actually going to be taking Hootie out to the track. I mean, it's been, oh my gosh, it's been a minute since we've had that car out. But we're going to take Hootie out, do some runs on it, see what we got to work on it. He finally wants to get back to working on it. So we're going to do that. So with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for us here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Be sure to share the video, hit that like button, and we will catch you guys on the next one.